and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Fuzzmaster Flex. And tonight we're reviewing Laguanita's Passion Grass. Made by West by Midwest. Alright. <laughs> I ran out of steam there for a second for the intro. Uh, 4.5. 8. 4.6% alcohol by volume. That is a 6. Is it? Sure. A, it was uh, brewed in a joint <laughs> session with Shorts Brew. Uh, whoever you are, shout out to you, Shorts Brew. Uh, it's a limit thing. Yeah, it's a uh, lemongrass and passion fruit. Um, so You're yeah. my passion fruit. Blue is its radar. I don't know. Uh, the only other lemongrass beer I've had was West Six Lemongrass Quit. Yo, yeah, I think I, I think actually was here for that one. A long ass fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. <laughs> Good song. Good yes. song. All right, uh, slight, just ever so slightly cloudy, barely noticeable. Just a little bit. Uh, carbonations, yours is heavier than mine. Mine's like a little bit. I'm gonna well, say medium. I feel like oh, the first pour always has the heaviest, car, heavier carbonation. It smells very hoppy. Yeah, it does. But then I again, that might grass be passion fruit in there. Yeah, though. but I feel like that that hoppy smell might actually be coming from the lim the, the lemongrass. Uh, head is white. <coughs> well, we're gonna have to find out on that show. Oh yeah, let's. I would eat is traditionally kind of hoppy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hoppy. Um, passion fruit's there on the back end. Very pleasant. Yeah, it is. It, it kind of. It uh, kind of does a good job of canceling out the bitterness of the hops there at the very it's, end. It's got the hoppiness of like a um, pale ale. It's not like IPA level or oh, anything no, like not, that. Oh, no. Not by far. Um, so I do get the lemongrass tiny bit up front. Mm -hmm. uh, finish up with tiny bit, or in the middle there, you get some of the hoppy bitterness. And then it finishes with that a strong passion fruit flavor. Yeah, it uh, does. Sweetness is light. It's a little sweet, but not, yeah. nothing crazy. But it, Yeah, but like I said, it's enough to kind of cut through that that bitterness that is there which makes it a little bit more enjoyable for those who don't enjoy a traditionally bitter beer tastes like summer to me a little bit yeah um it does taste like a summertime beer i'm not sure when this came out i'm seeing see there's a date on this bottle yeah i can see this being a good summertime beer actually because it does have that it does have a, a a forgive me for saying this and the millionth times i feel like i say it a lot it has a very refreshing quality to it a wise woman once said, friends are the family you choose. It's good to have friends. It's wise true. advice. That's very true. That's why we are friends. Are we? we? Drink together. I would like to think so. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to question this now, dude. I've, on, I've only known you for 11 going on 12 years. Yeah, yeah, we're friends. <laughs> um, so this beer... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. Uh, this beer's pretty good. I like it. Uh, it reminds me of like a passion fruit, almost like a passion fruit pale ale with like a hint of lemongrass. Mm -hmm. um, it's very drinkable. It's not like my favorite beer, but I think this would be pretty good and refreshing during the summer. Oh yeah. For uh, sure. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this at a oh, price. I forgot to mention that is nine ninety nine for a six pack, which is very reasonable. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and throw a seven point five out there. All right. So it's good. It's almost great. It's just not quite there for me. Um, but I would have no problem uh, recommending this to a friend if they were into the fruit fruit beers and they mm -hmm. wanted something that was a tad bit hoppier. If they're like, hey, give me something hoppier, but not IPA level hoppier. Oh, yeah. I, like, yeah, I, I, I feel this. that. I feel that. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to give it a seven and a half. Um, I like the flavors there. I like that it's not super bitter. I like how that passion fruit cuts through it. Um, again, the lemongrass is there, which brings it, it has, I think it's the lemongrass, which gives it that good, refreshing quality. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it'd be great for something during, something to drink during the summer. Um, so it seems to be like all these like kind of lighter ales do tend to be better drinking during the summer. Yeah, um, because it has a, it, it doesn't, it's not sticky or anything. It has a real light feel, right, light mouth feel, and it definitely doesn't leave you feeling bloated, which is the last thing you want to do when you're drinking outside in the sun, is when you want to feel bloated. Yeah, with this beer, um, one thing I do like is what, like we, we have a lot of beers that say they have certain fruits in them, but you can just barely taste it. Mm -hmm. This has passion fruit in it, and it's very noticeable. Oh, yeah. And the lemongrass is very noticeable, too. It says what it is, and it's there, and you get it. Yeah. And the only way you wouldn't get this is if you had your tongue severely burnt. Yeah, which for me, honestly, like if personally, if 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 I can taste what's described on the bottle, that's big points for me. 
Yeah, same here. Like, um, if it says there's lemon and mango and passion fruit, if I don't taste any of those in it, even a little bit, then it's like, if it says a hint, then I expect to just kind of barely get it on the back end. Yeah, exactly. If it says it's brewed with, and it's very clearly stated, this hey, this is a big part of this, it doesn't say it's with the hint of, mm -hmm. um, I expect to taste that in the beer. Yeah, and this delivers, and I, and mm -hmm. I give it props for that. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Patreon. I'm Special K. And I'm Fuzzy. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.